Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another video on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I turn most of my scrap plywood in the shop into these two custom sized rolling collapsible shop carts. I'm going to use these for assembly, but they've also been great for moving material from different tool workstations. And that piece of plywood that I'm cutting up now with the circular saw was the only new piece of material that I actually needed to complete the build. I use my new miter saw station here to cut all of the plywood to length for the rails. And the only thing that I'll say about this build is that it required a lot of pocket holes uh, for the assembly. And you don't actually need that many pocket holes. I just did this to kind of expedite assembly as I was working by myself and didn't feel like clamping everything together all at once. One part of the project that I overlooked a little was that these hinges are actually for three quarter inch material and since the final dimension was going to be an inch and a half I had to cut out a space for these hinges to fit in. And now I begin to clamp these down to my table to keep everything flat and lined up and then begin the process of screwing these sub-assemblies together before they're laminated. So now it's time to prep for the glue and we're going to spread these on the surface that have the pocket holes and that way we sandwich those two faces together. You can't actually see any of the pocket screws that were used in the final build. It looks like a solid piece of laminated plywood. And while those dry, I'm able to turn my attention to the rails and install all of the hinges that allow these to move. On the back sides of those hinges, every single rail gets a window sash lock, which acts as a lock for the rail to keep it in 180 degree orientation so that the cart can't collapse on you while you're doing your work on it. My top for this was a split top to keep the folding cart even smaller in footprint when it was collapsed and so I was able to take a 48 inch piano hinge and cut it in half and use each for each cart that I was making. When you're setting up the rails it's important to keep all of your rails in the proper orientation so that this folds and collapses correctly which means that all of the window sash locks need to be faced into the center of the cart and the hinges that you installed previously face out. The hinges that you're installing now to attach them to each side are what you want to put on the interior of the cart. And you'll see when this collapses at the end of the video why exactly that is and how the articulation of these arms works. The only downside of this setup for the rails is that it leaves the tabletop a little unsupported on the side with only a center rail. This wasn't a problem for me. I haven't put anything heavy enough to cause any major deflection and I have loaded this down with a decent amount of stock. Um, so it's just up to you when, if you do decide to make one of these if that's going to be enough support for you. You can see now how we cut the space for these hinges to fit in so that the hinge lines up at the far outside edge of the cart. It was a little tricky to get everything lined up and set, but I was able to get it screwed in and when you fold this over the hinge ends up being on the bottom and you have a flat and clear surface for your tabletop. In order to lock that tabletop flat when you're using it, I bent over these latches to a 90 degree angle so I could install them on the side of the cart. The reason for doing this is to actually leave the tabletop less obstructed than if you put these flat on the top. That's really the last bit of hardware except for the casters that I put in. The only changes I made to this after I installed the casters and tried it out for a little while was adding some uh, reference cleats to keep the tabletop from shifting left to right. And then I also added a latch to keep the tabletop attached to the cart portion when it was collapsed.
I'm so thrilled with how this build turned out. The fact that these cards can flat pack in such a small area and be taken out in less than a minute for added assembly or storage space was exactly the reason why I built these. And they have been perfect in the shop already this season as I build my Adirondack furniture. Thanks for watching the video. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.